Shepherds, leave your sheep. Come and see the babe. Come and see the babe. He is fast asleep. He is fast asleep. On a bed of hay. On a bed of hay. He's the Son of God. He's the Son of God. Sent from heaven above. Sent from heaven above. He has come to fill our world. Good morning, everybody, and welcome. Uh, just a few announcements before we start. Thank you, Scott, for your ministry of music for us today. Um, also, during December, the funds collected in the children's plate will be sent to the uh, Caledonia Food Bank Christmas Hamper Program. Your support is muchly appreciated. And during the month of December, the Christmas tree out front at the bottom of the stairs in the vestibule will support Notre Dame House Shelter for Youth in Hamilton. Um, again, this year, there is going, uh, we're needing hats, gloves, socks, and even art supplies, as lots of these kids are creative. Donations will be delivered the first week of January. Uh, today at 2 o'clock, just a reminder that Middleport invites you to St. Paul's cha um, Chapel uh, for their traditional Christmas lessons and carol service. Uh, December 11th. Tomorrow at 7.30 is a joint meeting of the Board of Managers in session here at the church. Um, upcoming worship, come and join us for Christmas. Um, Christmas Eve day at 9.30, a regular Sunday worship service, as well as a Christmas Eve service at 9.30 p.m., same time. Um, is there room in your inn? Sign up on the sheet downstairs in the vestibule, the table just at the bottom of the stairs to host Mary and Joseph for an evening as they travel to Bethlehem. So they'll stop at your house on the way. Also, um, if you'd like to keep uh, up with the Advent preaching seri series, then and now tune into um, our YouTube channel, which is in your bulletin. Uh, would you like to join the church, either transfer of membership or... Um, Profession of faith, if you've never done it before. If you're interested, uh, please see Pastor Nancy, and classes will be starting in January. Please, after today's uh, celebration, join us downstairs for some coffee and fellowship. And again, thank you, Bernice, Shirley, and the Ladies' Aid for all of your coffee time and treats today. Um, is there any other announcements that I've missed? Um, just like to point out all the beautiful, beautiful tributes of poinsettias that you've um, entered into me. I've, I've typed them all up, but the formatting didn't work out quite so right to get them into your bulletin, so they will be in the bulletin next weekend, next Sunday. But they are beautiful, and your tributes are beautiful. It was an honor to put those together for you. Um, now I call on Sam. Yes. And just to let you know, um, Dorothy Inksetter was scheduled for a hip replacement, I believe, this week, but it got postponed. So our prayer is that she won't. Our prayer is that she won't have to wait too much longer. Okay. 
Today, our call to worship comes from Isaiah 9, Psalm 96, and Luke 2. The people who, who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Celebrate the light. O sing to the Lord a new song. God's salvation is at hand. For a, child has, for a child has been born for us, a son given to us. I bring you good news of great joy for all the people. Celebrate the coming of Christ. Prayer youth. God of light and love, shine upon us this Christmas and the year ahead. Guide us out of darkness and into your joyous light. May our lives reflect your glorious love, that others may see your Christmas spirit in us each and every day of our lives. Amen. prophet's call and an apostle writes that peace comes from God. For a child has been born to us, for us, and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace, and there shall be endless peace, Isaiah 9. The peace of God, which passes all understandings, will guard your hearts and your minds in Jesus Christ, in Christ Jesus, Philippians 4. The world, our relationships, and our lives are all too often torn by conflict and injustice. Advent calls us to pray and work for peace, shalom, in the world God loves and to which Christ came. But God's shalom is not simply the absence of conflict. Shalom is the peace that comes when we live life in the balance, loving God and one another. 
Holy are you, source of all new life among us. Jesus Christ comes as the Prince of Peace. We join with all creation and lift our hearts in joyful praise. This candle shine for peace. Matthews, <clears throat> Matthews 1, 18, verses 18 to 24. This is how the birth of Jesus Christ came about. His mother Mary was pledged to be married to Joseph, but before they came together, she was found to be with child through the Holy Spirit. Because Joseph, her husband, was a righteous man and did not want to expose her to public disgrace. He had in mind to divorce her quietly. But after he considered this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him and, in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife, because what is conceived in her from the Holy Spirit, she will be, she will give birth to her. A son, and you 
are to give him the name Jesus because he will save peoples from his from their sin and all this took place to fulfill what the Lord had said through the prophet the virgin will be child be with child and give birth to a son and they will call him Emmanuel which means God with us when Joseph woke up he did what the angel of the Lord had commanded and him and took Mary home as his wife. So boys, boys and girls, if you could go to the back um, and get ready for um, the Christmas pageant. We just need a few minutes to set the mood for our story by singing a song together, O Little Town of Bethlehem. In these days, a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that the world should be registered. This was the first registration that has taken while Quir Quirinius was governor of Syria. Everyone went to their towns to be registered. So Joseph went from the town of Nazareth into Galilee to Judea, to the city of David called Bethlehem, because he was descended from the house and family of David. Now Joseph went to be registered with Mary Glory to God. because they were engaged and were expecting a child. While they were there, time came for Mary Glory to, God. to deliver her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes. She laid him in a manger because there was no place for Joseph. or Mary, Glory to God. or their new baby at the end.
In that region, there were shepherds. Hello. Hello. Living in the fields, keeping watch over their sheep. Bah. By night, an angel of the Lord Greetings. stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around the shepherds. And they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in swaddling cloths and lying in a manger. And suddenly there were more angels. In fact, there was a multitude of angels, and all of these angels were praising God together. They were saying, Glory to God in the highest of heaven, and on earth peace and goodwill to all. Then all the angels left them and went into heaven. And the shepherds said to one another, Let us now go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So the shepherds and their sheep (laughs) went quickly and found Mary and Joseph. That's me. And the baby Jesus lying in the manger. When they had seen him, they had made known to them about this child. Everyone who heard it was amazed at what the shepherds had told them. But what Mary treasured most was these words that pondered in her heart. Then the shepherds and the sheep returned home glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, just like it had been told to them.
Later on, during the time of King Herod, <laughs> after Jesus was born in Bethlehem, there were some wise men Interesting. from the east who came to Jerusalem. They asked, Where is the child who we have been looking for, born king of the Jews? For we saw his star, and we have come to worship him. Now Herod <laughs> secretly called for the wise men and learned from them the exact time when the star had appeared. Then he sent them to Bethlehem. He said, Go and search for the child, and, and when you have found him, let me know so that I may also go and worship him. So the wise men left Herod <laughs> they set out and followed the star until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw that the star had stopped, they were overwhelmed with joy. On entering the house, the wise men saw the child with Mary. Glory to God. And then they knelt down and worshipped him. Then, opening their treasure chest, they offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned in dreams not to return to King Herod, they left for their own country by another road. All these things happened long ago, but each year at Christmas time, we remember what happened in Bethlehem. When Jesus was born, we remember that Jesus is the most important part of God's big story. And we remember that just like Mary Glory to God. and Joseph That's me. and the shepherds Hello. with their sheep ah. and the angels ah. and the wise men and even King Herod. <laughs> we are all a part of big, God's big story too. And that is definitely something to celebrate.
an incomprehensible, humbling move, the Son of God left the majestic splendor of heaven and stepped down into our world to become an infant, to become a man. There were no royal robes or parades, no trumpeted arrival. At a birth where there should have been the finest marble and linens, there was only dirt, a few bales of hay, and the filthy rags of animals. Where there should have been a legion of, anim- of angels, there was just a handful of bleeding sheep, a couple of anxious camels, and a few teethered donkeys. And where there should have been a king and a queen in the pomp and circumstance of the royal court, there was only a frightened teenager and her tradesman spouse. Angels did announce the birth of the king, but only to a few shepherds guarding their flocks. And that brilliant star was shining in the night, but with the exception of three foreigners, no one even bothered bothered to notice it. And so, in that little town of Bethlehem, Bethlehem, so long ago, a simple peasant girl and her carpenter husband quickly sang, quietly sang lullabies to the king and kings of, as he drifted off to sleep. Surprising God, open our ears to hear this familiar story as if for the first time. Open our eyes to see the diverse cast gathered at the manger. Open our hearts to the power of your love as revealed in this amazing story. Open our lives to the possibility of transformation as we encounter once again God with us, Emmanuel. Amen.
Heavenly Father, we give you these gifts today as a small token of our appreciation for everything that you do for us. We ask that you be with us during this coming Christmas season and help us in everything we do. Use these gifts to further your word within the world. Amen. Sing to the Lord a new song. Tell everyone about God's amazing miracle. A child has been born who is the Prince of Peace. The light of God's love shines throughout the universe.
thank you to everyone who came out today and to all the kids, you did a fantastic job. Um, that concludes the formal part of our service today. Um, I am going to turn it over to Catherine, but I remind you again to please come downstairs and join us for coffee and goodies and ice cream, I think. Um, and also, from the Sunday school to all of you guys, Merry Christmas. <laughs>